contact sports such as taekwondo don't just train the body but also the mind. A good example for that is Wu Bingru, a hard of hearing teenager in Kaohsiung. Raised by his grandmother, Wu's rebellious behavior was once a source of distress for his family. But after just one year of training, he's improved by leaps and bounds. Wu says he hopes to one day represent Taiwan in the Deaf Olympics. Every strike he delivers is quick and powerful. This is Wu of Zoying Junior High School's Taekwondo team. He began learning Taekwondo only a year ago, but has already won many medals. Wu, who started junior high school this year, was brought up by his grandmother. Before starting Taekwondo, his rebellious behavior gave his grandmother many a headache. He was a little rebellious at that time. When I said something to him, he would talk back at me and raise his voice. It was by chance that his grandmother sent him to the Taekwondo gym, where Wu quickly fell in love with the sport. He trained hard to improve, even more so than his peers. His coach didn't just help him become better in Taekwondo, but also in everyday life. I tell the coach if he had been unruly. The coach would step in and he'd behave much better. I hadn't thought about this before. He's had a lot of personal growth and I feel very happy for him. Taekwondo isn't just a sport. It has helped me turn over a new leaf. Wu's goal is to represent Taiwan in the Deaf Olympics and make his grandmother proud.